Okay, now the fun thing is to make it so everything kind of flows together, you have to utilize your memory. So you can see the teeth work out quite well. Uh, now I got to get the bottom teeth working. The problem is sculpting the bottom teeth, having everything in the same preview mode is not going to work out quite well. So here, object mode, I'm going to release this to preview it on a lower res. These, I'm going to try to preview those at a lower res, something like two. I'm going to hide the bottom jaw. And that way I have enough, I should have enough now memory to be able to support change. Okay, take it off wireframe. And again, I just want to see the bottom teeth and be able to draw those in. And now I have a good reference to where the top teeth are. Kind of move that up just a little bit. Give me some. All right, ready? Yeah, good stuff. Just jump in. I would save before you jumped in. There we go. Okay, same as before. Uh, here's my middle tooth, so make sure symmetry is not on. And I'm just going to mark these just like I did before with the draw brush. I'm not being perfect here. I'm just I just know those teeth are smaller in the front right there. And then they start getting bigger. Trying to space these so they're like scissors. Okay, now let's draw. Can I make these V shaped things? So. Just like that. Then I can always move them later on. So, little arches.
And I'm being really sketchy in this area. Not, not worrying about it. Okay, so there's my rough draft. Now let's zoom in and start fixing it up. Feels like I need one more level of subdivide here, so I'm gonna pop that in. Just not getting as detailed as I want, like the first ones. Okay. And hopefully you can see that the sculpting phase, you know, like that whole, con just sketching it out and then going in, zoomed in, really helps. And that helps the student, like, not focus so much on detail at first. You're just trying to rough in the characters. Just like that. Keep carving. Okay, next step I did was smooth. So over exaggerating that gap between the teeth, that helps. Because when by the time you smooth it out, you lose some of that. Okay, there we go. Now a little inflate. Just a little inflate on all the teeth. And depending if you want the skull to have this mouth so it opens up, uh, you can inflate. You can do this on the back side of the teeth too, uh, for the demonstration purposes only. You know, as far as this video goes, I don't want to make it that long because the students' hopes and dreams goes right out the window when they see like this thing is made out of 16 videos. So uh, that's why I do that. It's like not because it can, because it just. I want the student to be able to <laughs> do something like this without going, wow, this thing is 16 videos long, really? And trust me, that's the first thing they say. Okay, there we go. 
again be just as like before. I'm just kind of varying it up. So when two teeth touch, I make my brush bigger. And when it comes down to this groove at the bottom, I make my brush smaller. There we go. Now damage control. What do I need to do is touch up some of the roots so all the teeth are a little bit more equal. So I'll do that with this brush. Establish some of those bigger molars. Uh, I can shape this tooth off to the side like that. And add it more. Same with this side. Treat this as your wisdom tooth. Notice I didn't count the teeth or anything like that. I should. I might have should have. But again, this is aesthetic stuff. I would highly suggest uh, not using the grab brush to make things bigger. You know, it's better to inflate things. This brings everything uh, at the same level. Produces a better normal map too. Okay, a little polish. And if you want to draw these in so they they more three dimensional on the top, you can do that same process of cutting back and then pinching. First, that would smooth it. Just a light touch. Smooth. And then a pinch. Now, again, you can see the difference between being zoomed in and not zoomed in. Uh, a lot of times, you know, if you think you're doing a bad job at this, zoom in. It, work on individual teeth, and then at the end, then zoom out and see all the detail. Now 
the skull could not floss. Okay, so just letting you know, it's gonna be impossible for him to floss. All right, so there we go. Bottom teeth. Go back into object mode. Kind of put them together just to, just for that gratification. We'll have to straighten them out just a little bit in the next video, but for right now, because I still have to angle these. Not a bad fit. Okay, just before I do that, let's, uh, so I can end this video with the teeth. I'm just going to kind of angle these. Just like that, and then take off mirror. And just work on individual teeth. Nice. All right. In the next video, we start cleaning house and start uh, putting everything together. So it all makes sense together.